an FAA Airworthiness Directive published on April 17th with an effective date of May 22nd has been issued to address a failure of the Standby Power Control Unit, or SPCU, under certain conditions. According to the FAA, the Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, or NPRM, issued in August 2023 was prompted by a determination that the loss of a ground through the P6 panel resulted in the failure of this power control unit. Let's examine the details of this directive for today's video. The FAA warned that a failure of the SPCU and ground through the P6 panel can potentially result in a significant loss of flight crew instrumentation and displays. As a result, the regulator mandated that operators install two bonding jumpers from the P6 panel structure to the primary structure. However, this issue appears to be quite limited in the number of aircraft it will affect in the United States. Indeed, the FAA estimated that the directive applies to only 79 Boeing 737 MAX 8 or MAX 9 aircraft in the country. It's not too expensive of a fix either, as the estimated costs suggested by the FAA to adhere to the directive were $435 per aircraft. This is split between $255 labor and $180 part-related expenses. After issuing a statement on the issue in December 2023, the FAA has now published a final rule airworthiness directive to address the issue. The text states, The loss of SPCU function in combination with other lost P6 functions could result in a potentially confusing combination of flight deck effects and lost functionality. Boeing stated that the additional information would clarify and add detail to expand to other additional equipment in the P-6. Responding to the earlier notice of proposed rulemaking, the Foundation for Aviation Safety and three individuals pleaded with the FAA to ground the type. In a brief response, the FAA said that the corrective actions by the directive will address the unsafe condition which does not warrant an order to prohibit further Boeing 737 MAX operations. In a separate filing, the Foundation for Aviation Safety, led by its executive director Ed Pearson, said that the P-6 circuit breaker panel provides circuit breakers for many of the 737 MAX's most critical electrical systems. Boeing leadership was made aware of the potential for electrical defects stemming from rushed production and engineering quality issues in the 737 factory as early as the spring of 2018, when chronic problems with electrical systems testing were reported to Boeing 737 General Manager in June 2018 and to Boeing CEO General Counsel and Board of Directors in February 2019. According to the Foundation, another serious electrical bonding and grounding problem was found involving the P6 panel and the SPCU in April 2021. It prevented the engines from starting, with the issue coming to light just five months after the 737 MAX was ungrounded. A Foundation statement has the following to say. Since being ungrounded, MAX airplanes continue to exhibit large numbers of unexplained electrical malfunctions, this is a dangerous unresolved issue that will not be resolved by fixing this latest electrical problem with the MAX. The Foundation for Aviation Safety believes the MAX airplane needs to be grounded indefinitely. What do you think of this latest airworthiness directive? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.